This is also pretty funny. The um, Jacob Wall, you'll recall, this is the the young man who had the bombshell that uh, Robert Mueller had um, sexually assaulted somebody. And he got as far as calling a press conference on behalf of the woman who was going to announce that uh, she had been a victim of these. And um, <laughs> he went to the press conference and uh, she never showed up. And he just said, you know, uh, yeah, well, because... <laughs> and it's not there, and he's been asked about that ever since, and he says, well, I'm not talking about that anymore. When some do some. And so this is, um, this is pretty upsetting. Jacob Wall received death threats. Um, and Just because this guy is a joke doesn't mean that he should face this kind of activity. Right. It is um, wrong to uh, receive death threats. Um, Wall and a uh, fellow, I don't know exactly how to characterize her, Laura Loomer, the woman who locked herself, chained herself to uh, Twitter because, uh, to literally the building that housed Twitter because Twitter um, suspended her from the service, uh, went to Minneapolis last month to investigate whether their quest to prove Representative Ilan Omar married her own brother um, was true. And um, his videos, apparently Wall's videos to his fans, were premised on the idea that what he was uh, embarking upon, going to Minneapolis, as you know, was incredibly dangerous because there are all sorts of ne'er-do-wells in uh, Minneapolis. No-go zones. Yeah, no-go zones who wanted to take him out. And apparently he often would wear a bulletproof vest because <laughs> of the danger in Minneapolis. Um, they call it Target Center for a reason. He received a, this is really, uh, he received some death threats, uh, one of which was, I hope you effing, no, and the death threater didn't say effing, I can assure you. <laughs> Know that if I bump into you in Dinky Town or anywhere else in my city, I'm going to shoot you. It's a sort of polite threat. And if I, bump, if I happen to bump into you when you're visiting, I'll, I'll kill you. On your effing bodies. Some, uh, some Twitter account uh, told him. God, the left. Get Man. that F out of my city, you piece of S. Now. That's more like it. This is from a, um, a Twitter handle called Drake Holmes 612 Well, Go um, and follow him. Where Jacob very, in, uh, very smartly went to go report Mr. Drake Holmes 612 to the police. And here is a video he shot of himself doing so. Hi there. Uh, we're, we're journalists on town uh, for, for business, for a report we're doing, and we received a couple of death threats. Yeah, we watched it progress over 24 hours to what you're seeing now, and that's a steady stream coming in every couple hours. Now, apparently, this Drake Holmes 612, uh, here's the police report. Uh, victim one, Wall, Jacob Alexandra, threat. Terroristic threats completed. Homeland Security offense completed. And apparently, and the other victim was uh, Ali Abdul Razak Akbar. That's who he's doing the documentary doing with. Doing the documentary with. Now, this Drake Holmes, I guess, is a, uh, a diversity. Um, what is it? Let's see. What does he say on his? He's a, uh, Drake Holmes is a diversity coordinator <laughs> born and raised in Minneapolis. Um, the problem is Drake Holmes is also a really, really bad speller and he misspelled his own last name and his username, which is weird. Uh, and it turns out that Drake Holmes is a creation 
of one of Jacob Wall's fake accounts. It doesn't mean that diversity coordinators aren't tremendously dangerous people. I think we can all be intellectually honest I was honest gonna say, that. if a diversity coordinator were that hard in the DMs, for real, I might be kind of impressed. Yeah, there you go. And apparently, uh, Wall uh, deleted the account uh, because uh, somebody caught, got, a, got wind of it. So, uh, Jacob Wall, uh, my understanding is wasn't the, um, wasn't there some controversy recently about um, somebody who created their own fake uh, death threats or attack or something? Oh, Jesse wait, Smollett. Wait, wait. Jesse Smollett. So, I also want to point out that he says hater of racist homophones and bigots. Oops. In homophones. His Twitter bio. Yes, of like homophones. He doesn't like words that sound like other words. Well, Drake Holmes. So like. Th- could just be a really bad speller. That could have been the character that Jacob Wall was. If, I think the said, character uh, objects to the Euro standards of speller. He really hates if you say, I threw the baseball through the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Jacob Wall may end up um, serving a little bit of time in Minneapolis, which is pretty hard. Pretty hard. It, to be honest, it's weird that he didn't serve any time for the whole Mueller stunt. It would be funny if Ilan Omar, like, actually, she's just, like, one of her, like, like, like walks down the hallway and she's being harassed by some idiot from Fox or something. She's also, like, and also, Jacob Walsh should watch himself in the prisons. <laughs> 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 she just starts validating. Like, if I was him, I'd be very mindful in the corridors of the prison. Unbelievable. Maybe take your lunch in the cell. <laughs> Like I would eat privately and uh, hashtag no new friends. <laughs> <laughs> so. Our-